Oh, that was a good one. Hey guys, there's a follow-up to the transcranial magnetic stimulation video that I made. Uh, as you can see, I was successful in getting uh, neuronal stimulation. Here I am stimulating my primary motor cortex, which is a piece of the brain that controls uh, skeletal muscles. Uh, so I work with TMS uh, a bit for my day job, so I've seen this done uh, a number of times. And typically when first getting a person set up uh, for a TMS experiment, uh, the primary motor cortex is a good area to target because uh, its effects are obvious. So by uh, stimulating this area, you can cause certain skeletal muscles on the body to twitch. Uh, and then you know that you're actually stimulating the brain and can move to other areas that are um, less obvious, uh, memory or whatever. So uh, you may know if you've taken any anatomy classes that the brain is flipped left right uh, relative to the body. So by stimulating the right side of my head, it's actually the left side of my body that moves because, uh, because it's flipped. So at first I, I used my butterfly coil, which was two turns of 15, or two coils of 15 turns each, and wasn't getting a whole lot with that. I was able to stimulate peripheral nerves on my arm, uh, but when using it on my head, there just wasn't enough oomph. I, I didn't really get anything out of it. So I went back to the single coil. This is just one coil of about 15 turns and was using voltages of about uh, 1,700 volts and uh, same capacitor bank. The, uh, the wiring that I used is like a, a grounding braid that I got at Halted, and I uh, wrapped it in uh, gaffer's tape just to insulate it and then just coiled it up. So the, the shape of the, of the wire makes it easy to coil up like this. The peak current uh, through the butterfly coil was maybe about 5,000 amps, um, and, but the rise time was still much faster than I thought. I was getting about, uh, what do you have, four microseconds or something like that, which is really much less than commercial TMS machines, which are typically about 50 microseconds rise time. So uh, the only way I figure that we can change that is to increase the inductance even more, which doesn't seem right to me, uh, or increase the capacitance of the bank, since the time constant is um, square root LC. But I'm not going to buy more capacitors because they're kind of pricey and this, basically this experiment's done. So, <laughs> so I, I was <laughs> happy enough to get some skeletal muscle stimulation and I think I'll call it quits. Um, I also tried the back of my head where the occipital lobes are and was trying to get some visual cortex stimulation. Apparently you can see phosphenes or like glowing regions uh, in the visual field by stimulating the um, visual cortex. I didn't really get much of that, but I got a few really intense neck twitches and so I, um, I've had enough basically. <laughs> All right guys, see you next time. <laughs> oh.